Welcome to two examples on how to find the equation of a parabola given the focus and vertex. We'll be using the standard equation of a parabola given here. Notice how there are two forms, one where the y part is squared and the x part is to the first. This is when the parabola opens left or right. And the second form where the x part is squared and the y part is to the first power. This is when the parabola opens up or down. So for this example, we're told the focus has coordinates three, one, and the vertex has coordinates three, two. So let's go ahead and plot these two points. Here's the point three, one, which is the focus, and the vertex has coordinates three, two, so it's one unit above the focus here. So looking at our notes below here for a moment, notice how the parabola contains the vertex and wraps around the focus. So notice how in this case, the vertex is above the focus, so we know that the parabola is going to open down. We'll make a rough sketch now, we'll make a more accurate graph later. But knowing that the parabola opens down is gonna help us find our equation. So again, because we have a vertical axis or the parabola opens up or down, we would be using the form of the equation where the x part is squared or this form of the two equations. Where h and k are the coordinates of the vertex and the absolute value of a is the distance from the vertex of the focus and a is positive if the parabola opens up and a is negative if the parabola opens down. So for our equation, since the vertex has coordinates three, two, we know h is equal to positive three and k is equal to positive two. And then again, the distance from the vertex to the focus is equal to the absolute value of a. Notice the distance from the vertex to the focus is equal to one unit. So this tells us the absolute value of a is equal to one. Notice that both positive one and negative one satisfy this equation, but since our parabola opens down, a must be negative, so a is negative one. And this is all we need to write the equation of our parabola. We would have the quantity x minus h squared, where h is positive three, so we have x minus three squared equals four times a, which is negative one, times the quantity y minus k, and since k is positive two, we have the quantity y minus two. So simplifying this, we'd have the quantity x minus three squared equals negative four, times the quantity y minus two. This would be the equation of our parabola. Before we look at our next example, let's make a more accurate graph of our parabola. Well, the distance from the vertex to the directrix, or this horizontal line here, is also equal to the absolute value of a, which means the directrix would be a horizontal line passing through a point one unit above the vertex, or this point here. So this would be our directrix. And then this segment here, that's parallel to the directrix, passes through the focus with both endpoints on the parabola, has a length equal to the absolute value of four a. We'll notice that four a is equal to negative four in our equation. The absolute value of negative four is positive four. So the lattice rectum has a length of four units. This is also called the focal diameter. So if we find those endpoints, we can make a more accurate graph. So because the focus is the midpoint of this segment, one endpoint would be two units to the left of the focus, or here. The other endpoint would be two units to the right of the focus, or this point here. So this would be the lattice rectum, or focal diameter, and the parabola must pass through the two endpoints. So now we can make a more accurate graph of our parabola. It would look something like this. Okay, let's take a look at a second example. Some information, we're given the focus and the vertex. We want to find the equation of the parabola. Let's start by plotting the focus and vertex. Focus has coordinates negative one, two, which would be here. Again, this is the focus. The vertex has coordinates one, two, which would be here. Again, because the parabola passes through the vertex and wraps around the focus, Notice how in this case, the parabola must open to the left. So it would look something like this. Again, we'll make a more accurate graph. 
after we find our equation. But because the parabola opens left to right, or more specifically in this case, opens left, we'll have to use the equation where the y part of the equation is squared and the x part is raised to the first. So we'll be using this form of the equation for our parabola. Or again, h and k are the coordinates of the vertex. The absolute value of a is the distance from the vertex of the focus. And if a is positive, as we see here in our notes, the parabola opens to the right along the positive x-axis. The parabola opens left, in our case, a is going to be negative. So because our vertex has coordinates one, two, this means h is equal to positive one and k is equal to positive two. Next, because the distance from the vertex of the focus is two units, this tells us the absolute value of a is equal to two, but now because the parabola opens left along the negative x-axis, we know a must be negative two, not positive two. So again, this is all we need to write the equation. We'll have the quantity y minus k, where k is two, so y minus two squared equals four times a, where a is negative two, times the quantity x minus h, or in this case, x minus one. We have the quantity y minus two squared equals negative eight times the quantity x minus one. Then to finish, we'll make a more accurate graph. Going back to our coordinate plane, because the focus is two units to the left of the vertex, that means the directrix would be a vertical line passing through a point two units to the right of the vertex, or this point here. So this would be the directrix. And the length of the lattice rectum is equal to the absolute value of four a. Notice in this case, four a is equal to negative eight. The absolute value of negative eight is positive eight. And since the focus is the midpoint of the lattice rectum, or focal diameter, one end point would be four units above the focus here, one, two, three, four. The other end point would be four units below the focus, one, two, three, four, which would be here. So the parabola must pass through these two endpoints, which means we can now make a more accurate graph. Our parabola would look something like this. Okay, I hope you found these two examples helpful.